हेलो एवरीबडी आई एम एडवोकेट राजशेखर गोविलकर टुडे आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग विथ यू एंड शेयरिंग अबाउट अ वेरी रिसेंट वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग कॉम्प्लिकेटेड क्वेश्चन ऑफ लॉ एंड अ केस ये आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द केस ऑफ सुशांत सिंह हिज डेड बॉडी वॉज फाउंड इन द होम एंड इट वॉज रिपोर्टेड टू द पुलिस Police started making an inquiry under the relevant provisions of law. Before going any further, I want to explain that I am trying to be explaining the situation and the legal provisions without going into the details of sections, the actual provisions, and give you a complete but broad idea. When the Bombay police, Mumbai police, received the information, they started inquiry. into the cause of the death as is required to be done under the provisions of the crpc that is criminal procedure code please remember here one thing that this inquiry was not treated to be an investigation into a crime because when there is a report of an accidental death or maybe another death the police make an inquiry under 174 and if during the inquiry they find that there is some criminal angle to it or somebody has committed a crime and as a result of it there is a death then fir that is the first information report is lodged and the investigation starts here when the dead body of sushant singh was found police started making inquiry the things apparently were smooth and normal in the sense that there were not too many complications he was found hang he was found hanging etc etc but the relatives of sushant singh they were not satisfied at all they were not happy with the investigation or the inquiry which was going on they had a different story to tell they had their own suspicions they had their own doubts therefore when mumbai police started its inquiry and it did not take the required and the desired speed as per the expectation of relatives of sushant singh being apprehensive as to the outcome sushant singh father lodged a complaint at patna bihar that complaint was not only for the death but it was also involving a financial aspect it involved commercial it involved criminal breach of trust it involved falsification it involved 420 that is cheating and so on and so forth when this fir was lodged there were allegation that this fir was lodged under the political pressure and it had no jurisdiction at all to make even an inquiry into the allegation Mumbai police they were doing their job Bihar police claimed that they were equally doing their own job in as much as when there were allegations of <coughs> criminal breach of trust cheating falsification of accounts etc and ultimately if the amount was traceable to the father of Sushant Singh being class 1 air in that an event wherever his domicile is wherever he is situated that court also would have jurisdiction and therefore bihar police claimed that they were entitled to make investigation into the fir now see the position here as far as mumbai is concerned there is no fir as of now as on today there is no fir the only provision of law which is placed into practice is section 174 of the criminal procedure code which gives a right to make an inquiry or rather obligation to make an inquiry one riya chakravarti who is also one of the main persons here in doubt in suspicion the fir lodged and the investigation on the basis was a result of the political pressure and the police pressure she apprehended that there would not be proper investigation the supreme court was faced with a question as to whether an investigation could be transferred from one state to another state 
the law does provide an authority to the supreme court to transfer cases and appeals but not investigation so therefore the supreme court was of the opinion that investigation could not be transferred as there is no provision of law but at the same time equally there was no scope for transfer of a case also from bihar to mumbai simply because at mumbai there was no case there was no fir the things take a different turn here now the bihar police on the basis of the fir lodged in patna came to mumbai to investigate remember these are the days of covid 19 where free movement is not only restricted but there is a provision for quarantine or requirement for quarantine so when the bihar police came to mumbai under the law the authorities exercised their rights and asked them to be quarantined so this created a huge problem this was taken as an affront it was taken as a deliberate obstruction in the way of bihar police to make proper investigation because a general impression in the media and the other forms was that the mumbai police was not doing its job not doing the job properly and effectively and it was taking too long a time again a difficulty when the bihar police want to investigate into a crime that crime did not have any equivalent fir in mumbai and therefore it was apprehended that in the event the mumbai police also come to the conclusion during the inquiry under 174 that there was commission of crime then there would be obviously a separate crime will have to be registered and that will have to be investigated the difficult position further worsened because both the police claimed that they had the exclusive right to make investigation and there were allegations of political influence involvement of political persons as a consequence there was a kind of confusion as to what exactly is required to be done in this case the supreme court called upon the government of india to make its submission the attorney general stated that it is correct that mumbai police was doing something which was within their power bihar police had lost fir and they were also doing something which was within its power since there was an atmosphere of suspicion or doubt now a way has to be found out okay but before i go further i must tell you as to what the supreme court said about the role of the mumbai police what they had done and i will read it verbatim in the instant case the petitioner reposes confidence on mumbai police this petitioner is this riya chakravarti the records of the case produced before this court does not prima facie suggest any wrong doing by the mumbai police however that is important their obstruction to the bihar police team at mumbai could have been avoided since it gave rise to suspicion of the bona fide of their inquiry the police at mumbai were conducting only a limited inquiry into the cause of unnatural death under section 174 crpc and therefore it cannot be said with certainty at this stage that they will not undertake an investigation on the other aspect of the unnatural death by registering an fir here in my view the specific assertion and positive finding of the honorable supreme court that the mumbai police had done no wrong is very important and now the question arises as to why if mumbai police is not wrong then why it should be handed over to the cbi now remember here one thing this judgment does not hand over the investigation to the cbi as far as the fir at patna is concerned with the consent of the bihar government 
the case is already entrusted to the CBI. I will pause here to introduce you what is CBI and what is the role and importance of the CBI. CBI is the Central Bureau of Investigation which is established under a special enactment namely Delhi Special Police Establishment. This was done for particular purpose and for a geographical territory which was confined to union territories. However, the various state governments were authorized and empowered to request the CBI or entrust the investigation to CBI on offenses which were on the larger scale of the government servant etc etc. Here as far as Bihar police are concerned, they had already entrusted the investigation to the CBI and therefore the CBI was already in siege of the matter and going to investigate it. The question was about the happenings in Mumbai. As far as the Mumbai police are concerned, they were justified in claiming that nothing and whatsoever nothing had happened within the jurisdiction of Patna. Everything that is connected with this incident had happened in Mumbai and therefore Bihar police absolutely have no jurisdiction authority to investigate into the matter. There the central government stated that considering the allegations of both the parties, namely this Riya Chakravati who is the petitioner, she said she had no objection to investigation to the investigation to be done by CBI. But she was skeptical about the manner in which the Bihar police would conduct. As far as Bihar police are concerned, they are making a little more serious allegation against the Mumbai police stating that even during the inquiry under 174 which is just into the cause of the death, the Mumbai police is trying to protect and shield somebody who is really the culprit. Under these circumstances, the court observed specifically that it must be determined whether the unnatural death was the result of some criminal act. And in order to lend credibility to the investigation and its conclusion, it would be desirable in my view to specify the authority we should conduct the investigation in this matter. Uh, what I stated just now is from paragraph 13 of the judgment of the Honorable Supreme Court. Therefore, please remember now here, in paragraph 10 the Supreme Court says Mumbai police had done no wrong. In paragraph 13, the Supreme Court says that it is desirable at this stage to decide as to who should be the authority which would be to the satisfaction of both the sides. The petitioner in the Supreme Court had expressed her confidence in Mumbai and she had no objection to the CBI. And as far as Bihar is concerned, the deceased father is concerned, he says he would be happy or he would be satisfied with the investigation to be made by the CBI. I want to emphasize here, the Supreme Court has not found fault with any particular organization namely the Mumbai police or the Patna police. Both are acting within their jurisdiction and authority in their different spheres. Even at the cost of repetition I would say that Mumbai police is trying to find the cause of the death and they have not found as of yet today any circumstances which would require lodging an FIR to proceed the investigation further. Even the Supreme Court has observed that it is quite possible that during this inquiry under 174 relating to cause of death, the Mumbai police may come across circumstances or facts by which they will decide to file an FIR. And in such an event, if the Mumbai police decide to file an FIR, obviously there will be a different investigation and both the police acting within their jurisdiction, there is likelihood of confusion, contradictions, conflict and it is quite possible that the truth will be a fatality or victim in such case. The Honorable Supreme Court had also examined the limited scope of the inquiry which the Mumbai police is undertaking and will be undertaking. 
the scope of the investigation of the FIR by the Bihar police is much more extensive because not only it goes to the death of the person but also falsification of accounts, criminal breach of trust, cheating. According to Bihar police, ultimately the father of the deceased being the heir, he was to receive the money and therefore Bihar police had jurisdiction. This is not a wrong legal interpretation or a view taken by Bihar police and that's what the Supreme Court says. So therefore, what the Honorable Supreme Court again stated in paragraph 21 of the judgment that it is declared that the inquiry conducted under section 174 CRPC by the Mumbai police is limited for a definite purpose but is not an investigation of crime under section 157 of the CRPC. Now, again just at the cost of repetition, there are two parallel investigations which are going on one is an inquiry, one is an investigation. There will be investigation by Mumbai police and precisely to avoid that kind of a conflict or situation, the Honorable Supreme Court has said, let the investigation entrusted by the Bihar police to CBI in respect of FIR lodged in Patna continue. But in the event, the Mumbai police decide to file an FIR, in Mumbai, in that an event, the investigation should go to CBI. I see that there is likelihood of any confusion or inclarity about investigation and inquiry. In paragraph 18 of the judgment, the Honorable Supreme Court has taken up this issue specifically and observed that the scope or the proceeding under section 174 regarding inquiry is to find out the apparent cause of unnatural death and there are not in the nature of investigation which is undertaken after filing a first information report which is a report of commission of crime and therefore these two are, are two separate streams of inquiry and investigation which inquiry may result into investigation after the FIR is lodged in Mumbai. So therefore, my whole purpose of discussing this topic and uh, judgment with you was to tell you that the Honorable Supreme Court has not found fault with any of these investigating agencies. All that it has done is to the satisfaction of both the parties and both the states also there should be an independent agency, central agency, which is the CBI and therefore the case is transferred to CBI and as and when Mumbai police decide to register an FIR, that FIR also will stand transferred to CBI, which is already investigating into the FIR lodged by Bihar police. I hope the position is really clear to you. No one is gone into the facts in the sense merits or demerits whether what Bihar police says is right or what is stated in investig uh, FIR is correct or not that is a matter which comes at a subsequent stage. Maybe as and when the things get clearer I may come again and share my information with you. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe it so that it will encourage us and we can come to you further and more.